just a little rant about uh, about the Brown Beret. Now that uh, organization started about 60s, what, the 60s, 70s or so. Now, in that time, they were making they were making actual moves. You know what I mean, they were actually making things happen. You know what I mean? Of course, they were still mar marching like they do nowadays. You know what I mean? But they were they had more power. They had more. Um, even though there were restrictions like there are now, they were actually making changes, like real changes in schools, real changes in and and, and shit in cities and communities. They were making moves. You feel me? They were making things happen. Um, now, you still see them, you know what I mean? But it ain't like it used to be. I'll tell you that much. It ain't like it used to be. They can do way more, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a internal issue, which is kind of always the case when it comes to organizations and someone tries to take over and, and be the metal metal. Someone tries to, you know what I mean? I don't know. They, it has conflicting views or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it might be. But that's for sure. It's obvious that, you know, brown barrettes are are not like it used to be. They're not They're not as, you know, as much of a, a of, of the leaders of the raza like, like it used to be in, in, the, in the barrios, no? Uh, now, as for the Black Panthers... They, they are, you know, behind the scenes. Like, you don't really hear what they're really doing and stuff. But they're there, you know what I mean? They're they're more reserved. They don't really like, you know, talking about what they've gone, what they got going on, you know, only within the members, as I've heard. Uh, yeah, so they're more hush-hush about what they got going on, which is, I can see, you know, it's a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing because, you know, the news ain't, ain't like you know talking about them and and you know i mean getting them on getting them on the news and, and all that like you know because they're not really out there but they're there you know what i mean now the bad thing about the fact that they're so you know so like not in in the public's eye is that um well the dad by itself you know what i mean people don't realize that they're still there People just don't take them into consideration that they might be actually, you know, coming up with ideas to make things happen or to 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 strike strike at the uh, at the issues in our in our uh, societies. Uh, yeah, so that's the pros and cons. But yeah, man, the brown berets, the brown berets, they tripped me out because man, they were so powerful. You know, so much of a backbone to the communities back in the 60s, 70s, even in the 80s. Um, actually, well, not so much because they, as I haven't understood, that they they uh, quit the organization in, I, I believe, the mid-70s. And then they started up again in 92, I think, 92. Um, but regardless of that, you know what I mean? Like, they were, they were a big, a big, uh, uh, how can I put it? Well, yeah, simply as that. They were the backbone of our communities, you know, that were really making things happen and um, helping people to overcome their issues of what they had going on, you know, with with um, being being put down as, as, a, as a Chicano, Mexicano. Um, but, um, yeah, what do you guys think about that? You know what I mean? Let me know about that. I got some camaradas that are in the Brown Barrettes, and we had some conversation about that. You know what I mean? But um, they can't. They can't, you know, put their finger on it either, you know what I mean? People that are members of, of Brown Barrettes, they either cannot come up with why it isn't as powerful as it used to be. They can't come up with the, the answer for that, neither. So I'm like, dang, you know, what could it be? Like, we need, is it not united enough or what the fuck is it, you know what I mean? But regardless of that, I'm going to get some people on my podcast, which I will be dropping perhaps this Friday or Saturday. You know what I mean? And um, see how that goes. Um, yeah, but stay tuned to uh, people of color not allowed on all platforms. You know what I mean? On Spotify, all that, all that. You know what I mean? So just stay tuned for that. It's coming up real, real soon. 
you know, I'm going to be going up live and shit with, like, the protesters or the, you know what I mean, marchas and all that. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to get in the mix and just get people's point of view into what's going on, you know what I mean? What's really going on. Ask questions that some may not, I don't know if you have the balls is the right words, but some may not want to be talking about. Some may not bring up because they might, you know, upset the person that they're uh, interviewing. But these questions should be asked, like, why, why go, why the people that have never fucking said nothing about protests and all that, they're standing up, they're saying something, but yet some of them are the reasons why our societies, our barrios were fucking up to begin with. Now you want to say something, right? You know, that type of shit, you know what I mean? Um, I admit I was involved in like gang shit, you know what I mean, and all that. And I seen that it was all bullshit, you know what I mean? And I don't want to be no um, hypocritical fool neither, you know what I mean? That, that's why I admit that and I say that shit that, you know what I mean? Anyone that's trying to make changes, make changes, but for the fucking right reasons. Not to gain no clout, not to, not to fucking try to impress someone that they're, you know what I mean? Oh, because your homies fucking acá, being fucking acá, Chicano pride and all that. Now you want to do it? Nah, nah, nah. Do it because you want to see a change. Do it because you see an injustice and it's fucking bullshit and now you want to make a change to it. Do it for that. Not for your homie, not for your neighbor, not for the fucking president of Mexico, not for none of those motherfuckers. Nah. Do it for you. Alright? And with that said, yo, check in with me on uh, my new podcast, People of Color Not Allowed. You know what I mean? Alright, this is Brown and 6 checking out. That's what's up.